深刻。there at G5 Church why do you worship why do you raise your hands proclaim that he is the greatest and the highest I want you to know why the Bible says if we don't praise him the rocks and the mountains will have to cry out and I'm not going to be replaced by a rock or a mountain I'm going to join, I'm going to join the angels and I'm going to worship it. See, I don't know if you know it or not, people are walking around going, why was I born? What am I here for? This is the reason you were given life, to worship it. And some of us are used to it and some of us are not. I get it. You know, I was Baptist for a while and then I was a Nazarene and then I got holiness. And next thing you know, I turned into a crazy man because I put away all that religion and I just started worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I said, I'm tired of organized stuff. I want to know him and the power of his resurrection. Satan's not afraid of you if you're just a wimp, uncommitted, quiet soul. When you start declaring the works of the Lord, he gets nervous. When you start speaking life and not death over people, when you start speaking life over your marriage and over your relationship and over your dating and over your finances, when you start telling addictions to leave and that the presence and the power of God is gonna enter your life. When you say, Lord, I want you more than anything else. You know that breath you're breathing right now that you're not even thinking about? Imagine, imagine if you were fighting for that breath. When you breathe in Christ, you exhale praise. And you just say, your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above it all. All thrones and dominions, all realms and positions. Your name always stands above it all.
the 